Sing me a song of a last that is gone. Say, could that last be I? Mary of soul, she sailed on a day over the sea to sky. Hey everyone, Alpine here. A very happy day to you all. I wanted to talk a little bit today about connecting with nature. I have been doing that more in the recent months. I've made good friends, as you guys know, with Crimson Fire, who is here on YouTube, in our, you know, in our, in our physical, everyday waking world. We do a thing now where we go out every Friday and we go witchy road tripping and we just go to like different places and usually nature places. Sometimes we go to like an actual, what would you go like? not a venue, an actual place, you know, like we went to a lavender farm and we went to a fairy park and that sort of thing. Along the way, even when we have those things planned, we go, we just make stops on the side of the road and like collect nature things and, and be in nature and, and touch rocks and trees and, and, you know, earth ourselves and that kind of thing. And it's been really amazing. Firstly, traveling around like that to all different places, it's like, it ignites my gypsy soul, you know, that traveling part of me. I've never actually been overseas. It's something that I really want to do and I will do one day. When I can, I think I'm just going to do like a massive world trip and like just see everything while I'm out of the country because it costs a lot of money in flights to get out of Australia because we're, you know, so far from a lot of places. Once I'm out, just like see everything. I want to see everything. I might make it a whole year or something. I don't know. We'll see what happens, right? Yeah, that's something I really want to do. But just traveling around, you know, like being in the car and like moving and going somewhere else, like it's, it's food for the soul. And I've had a few people say, you know, like, oh, I love all your little nature things. And, you know, I live in a city or I live in a town and I don't really have that stuff. Before I lived in an area Area with access to green spaces, to nature spaces, I was still collecting things. Everyone's situation is different, like there are some places in the world that like there isn't nature right there, like, like it's there is no trees, there's no patches of grass, there's nothing. <laughs> but you can always travel a little bit further. Most of the places that I go to now are a couple of hours away from me. I've taken the opportunity to go camping. It's a really wonderful way to get into nature. As I've mentioned, that's amazing because you get to really spend time out there, you know, day and night and that kind of thing. And that's amazing. But there's always something around and connecting with nature, like it doesn't have to be land and grass. It can be the sky. Like for me, for the longest time, it was the sky. Um, and everyone can see at least a small patch of the sky somewhere wherever you are in the world you know whether you get to see many stars or not is a different thing again depending on where you are but we can all see the sky we can all feel the wind and the rain and the heat and all that kind of stuff so connecting to the elements that way is a really beautiful thing too like do whatever you can wherever you are but again you can travel out you can catch the train and go an hour or two or whatever out to somewhere every now and again you know, out to a green space. Or if you are in a city, most cities, um, at least in the Western world, do have a park or something, go there. I think it's really important, if you feel it's important for you, for me, I know it's important, to connect with nature, to connect with the world beyond just our human construct, all the mess and the noise and the things and do this and that and be this and that, and blah, 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 blah. The, the chatter, the chatter. To just get away from all of that and be out in nature is an amazing thing. And to bring things home to is so cool. Like, I mean, I love the color and texture and shapes that are in nature. And you guys would have seen some of that the other day in my nature haul video, you know, just different things I have around. I love just bringing those things home and being able to connect with them from all the different places that I've been to. And this week I'm going with my sister probably to a waterfall. She's coming up to just sort of spend the day. She's got um, some time off uni at the moment and I thought I would take her out because she's okay she is like an animation whiz and her life is on the computer <laughs> so she just like all her time is spent there and she loves it and it's amazing um but she doesn't really get outside very much my camera's gonna die I thought you know when she comes up we'll, we'll go and do something so I might take her to a beautiful place that I've been to before and collect more rocks and this Friday I'm so excited I'm going to the beach and that's gonna be with Crimson I'm going to stay down with her for the weekend 
so excited to go to the beach. Like that's where my practice first began, like where I first started magicking was on the beach um, because that was the only private alone space I had. Um, I was living with family um, which I didn't feel comfortable practicing around. So I would go down there and like, oh, the ocean. And I never thought I would miss it. I was never a big ocean person until I lived there. And then I just grew to love it. And I haven't really been back since I moved inland. So I'm so excited to go to the beach. And we're going to a place called Phillip Island, which is quite a small island. And so we're gonna be going coast to coast and like, oh my God, I can't wait for like all that gorgeous ocean energy. I'm so excited. And I'm gonna be coming back with like bags and bags of stuff. I love shells and hagstones and driftwood and seaweed and I don't know all the things, all the things that I'll find. I'm so excited. I just kind of want to put that out there. Yay nature stuff. Go into nature. If it's something that you want to do, do it. Like don't allow the excuses to get in the way of you experiencing that. Travel a little bit. It doesn't have to cost much. Go on the train jump in the car like go somewhere walk to the park you know whatever it is just go to those spaces or sit on your terrace and look at the sky you know whatever it is like experience nature um, I think it's a really it's a very grounding thing to do it's a very healing thing to do and it's a really wonderful way to connect with our humanity and also spirit I just wanted to say that I love you guys so very much and I'll see you very very soon mwah, mwah, mwah. love you